As anyone knows who works with me, I am an avid user of um, Microsoft OneNote. I'm, I'm just absolutely addicted to this application. It's up and running all the time on my laptop. My laptop goes with me to meetings, either with the client, in a boardroom, in our own office, or at someone's desk, and I'm capturing notes. And after I capture the notes, I quickly edit the notes and send them off to people via an email. And I find it's the best way for me to capture to-do lists uh, from meetings that we have, as well as to get an accurate uh, uh, portrayal of what went on in the meeting. I not only am I able to capture all the to-dos right there in the meeting, I also can type a heck of a lot faster than I ever could write. And so by being able to capture it in OneNote, it's made all the difference in my life. Um, you can see here, here's OneNote that I've got set up on my own computer. Um, uh, and I just wanted to show a comparison actually right now between OneNote and Evernote. Although I'm addicted to Microsoft OneNote, <clears throat> I had a recent... Um, uh, business need that came up that bothered the heck out of me <clears throat> and that was the fact that I've got an iPhone and Microsoft is not making a OneNote app uh, available and free and easy for me to use even after I've paid for Microsoft Office OneNote um, and, and you think even as a paid uh, user of Microsoft Office OneNote I'd get a free iPhone add-on or any mobile device add-on to be able to access my notes well I took a look at Microsoft OneNote's competitive product this morning, and that was Evernote. The cost of Evernote, you can go online and grab it, it is free. Um, the cost of Microsoft OneNote, if you were to buy it online at a store, uh, in Canadian dollars, I believe the price is roughly around, it's something like $110. Uh, it's not a significant amount, but it's not trivial either for the average user. So what is the big differences between OneNote and Evernote? Well, the big deal with Evernote, I can access it on my iPhone. Uh, I'm just going to jump over to Evernote here and bring it up on the screen right now. Here is Microsoft Evernote up and, and running. And the big deal is I can now, if you see here, there's a sync button. And this will synchronize my journals that I specify to be able to synchronize. I can choose not to synchronize a particular notebook, a journal, uh, but I can choose to have some that do synchronize. And the ones that I choose to synchronize, I can access them via the web, via any computer that uh, I can get access to and install the OneNote app. Uh, and I can also access them on my mobile device, my iPhone, just by synchronizing them. Uh, synchronization is an option, standard setup like you'd find in every other app where you can specify when to synchronize, how often to synchronize. Um, the other really nice thing about if you are switching from Microsoft OneNote to Evernote, if I go here to File and I say Import, I can import my Microsoft Office OneNote directly from there. It makes it very simple to move from OneNote over to Evernote. Um, now, does Microsoft make it easy to import from Evernote into OneNote? No. Should they? <laughs> For gosh sakes. Microsoft make it easier to import from Evernote into OneNote to get people over. I mean, it's an obvious thing. Your competition is doing it, you should be doing it too. So I did import, like I said, I am an avid user of OneNote. and I did, I'm, I'm currently undecided, but I'm leaning towards switching entirely over to Evernote. Uh, I did import some of my older journals. In, in Microsoft OneNote, what you can do is you can set up a book, a notebook, and then within a notebook, you can set up sections, which are like tabs that you would have in a binder. And then within there, you've got pages. I'm going to move this over and you can see here are the pages that exist within a tab of a particular binder that I'm looking at. And I happen to be looking at my 2009 journal. I've got my 2010 journal. And you can see what I've done is set up tabs or sections for each month. And then within each month, I've got pages of notes that I've taken. And it makes it very easy for myself to stay organized in the exact same way that I'd use the black book, the blue liner book that everybody uses today for, for notes. Now, um, does that mean you, when you do your new technology, you should just take your old method and use, in, in, you know, use new technology in the same way you did your old? No, there are better ways to do things like tagging, which Evernote will introduce. But you know what? 
this way of working, uh, of mimicking how I use a journal is perfect for me. So I wanted to see if I could do that in Evernote. If I jump over to Evernote, you can quickly create a notebook. So I created a 2009 journal. I did import all the, the pages. What it does is each section becomes a tag. So you can tag a section, and then within there you'll see the notes that you'd have for a particular section. So I don't like that it's just a tag. I'd love for the notebook to be able to have tabs and, and instead of just a tag, because there's things that I'd like to multiple tag in different ways, but the notebooks I would keep a little different. Um, if I was to start journal, uh, one Microsoft Evernote, or not Microsoft Evernote, if I was to use Evernote instead of Microsoft Office OneNote, one thing I would do is end up making a notebook for each month of a particular year. Uh, and then within those I could tag them. So it is something that I would do different. It's just a setup issue. And then you do have tagging, which is nice. Um, so the notes came in great. I can synchronize them. I now have access to them uh, via any computer online. I don't even need my own PC. I can access them via my iPhone, which is fantastic. So. I think what I might try is slowly porting over to Evernote now, just because I have this overall goal of being computer agnostic. I don't want to be tied down to my laptop when it comes time to change. I'd like to be able to quickly move over to a different laptop, so it's nice to have um, Evernote uh, running, and then I can jump between any PC and have all my information available to me. So I don't like the fact that Evernote doesn't have sections or tabs within a notebook. Other than that, it's fine. The other thing that I'm doing all the time in OneNote is I create a note, but I do it based on a format that I have for doing notes of which I choose to do it in my own stationary method. And in my own stationary, I can have attendees, key points, action items, carry forward items, next meeting date. And I put in the meeting name and the date and title right there. I love that way of doing it. Because then, not only do I have a um, saved template, I then go file, email. It's tightly integrated with Outlook. So I can click the to button. And I've got my Outlook address book. And it all pops up there, which is great. Um, but uh, the with Evernote, I can do the same. I can take an email message and email it. The only problem is I don't have the synchronization with who I'm going to send it to. But when you do receive the email from, from um, Evernote, it does look relatively OK. Microsoft's OneNote does look a little better. But there it is with an embedded note, you can see of how I, I had done it with Microsoft uh, OneNote. So Evernote here, uh, let me jump to September uh, and the summary of CRM online access methods. You can see it's because it's imported, it's copied it, but I wish I did have that template method. Overall, Evernote, it looks good. Uh, it is com comparable. They need to add tabs for notebooks and they need to integrate with Outlook for the sending option. Other than that, to be computer agnostic, I will slowly switch myself over to OneNote, uh, to Evernote and Microsoft, you need to push it to the cloud.